The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the September 6th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. And let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this, during this next 53 minutes, I am here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. Now, if you've got a question but you can't go in, Stevie's got your back. Send me an email. Send it off early. Send it to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. And, of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, well, then any and every ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fabulous Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to the show. Right now, we got a sea of red out there. All the sectors inside the S&P trading the downside. All the indices are trading the downside. The Dow's off half a percent. That's 204 points. One and a quarter percent for the S&P. 67 points. Two percent for the NASDAQ. 450 points there. 415 points there. Uh, the Russell's down 24. That's 1%. 190 for the semis. A 4% move there. Gold's off $2. Silver's off 25 cents. Slice sweet crude is off nearly a buck. Natural gas up two cents, the 30 treasury print out of 126.13. That's up 24 ticks. Our leader in the clubhouse to the upside, Argon Inc., up 17, nearly 18 bucks, or a 25% move there. Guide Wire Software, 16 bucks, 11%. Thermo Fisher Scientific, a little over 1% or 8 bucks. Sam Sarah, up $6, that's a 15% move. And Quanix Building Products, up 5%, I'm sorry, 5 bucks, 18%, uh, 19% to the upside. The shakers to the downside, led by Bank of Montreal, off 36 bucks, 10% move. Asimil Holdings, 35 bucks, 4.5%. Supermicro, 22 bucks, 5.4%. Netflix, 20 bucks, 3%. Lamb Research, 18 bucks, about 2.5% there. So we got movers and we've got shakers. Let's begin our day by taking a look at the New York Stock Exchange, the advanced decline oscillator. Again, the advanced decline oscillator is the difference between the 19 and 39 period exponential moving average of the advanced decline line. The advanced decline line is in the uh, second. Uh, uh, portion of my chart. Third portion is that advanced decline oscillator. More likely than not, we don't see a bottom until that oscillator gets down to that oversold reading of minus 150. I'm not saying that's exactly where it would stop, but I don't think we get any kind of uh, bounce, significant bounce, until we see that unfold. So right now, uh, the spot fix index, which is down below, that red line is the 50-day at 1728. You can see we're well above that. So buyers or sellers are the ones that have the edge in the market, and I suspect that that edge will continue. Um, if we want to, so one of the things I like to do, especially when we get to the 11 o'clock uh, hour here, is to try to identify uh, who's calling the markets, what time frame is providing the best signal. So Let's do this here. Let's go ahead and switch panels. We'll go to my white panel chart. We're going to try to uh, try to not switch panels as often today out there because yesterday I made a number of mistakes. Here we're going to take a look at a 10-minute time frame chart. If we look at the 10-minute time frame charts for the ES, NQ, Dow, and Russell 2000, you'll see that the ES meaning for a 10-minute basis formed a Rhodes Mentum indicator top at 940 this morning. Ever since then, we have seen a series of 
uh, of lower highs, with the exception being the last 10 minute bar, just uh, literally just right now as we're speaking. So and that was also a TD nine count bottom. So that makes sense. You get a TD nine count bottom pattern out there. Price should rally up to resistance. Well, if we take a look at what's transpired, it's run right up in that red oscillator and change line. A red oscillator and change line tells us that the price oscillator is below zero. When we are below that, it tells us we have a falling price oscillator below zero. That suggests lower price. Now, if we get a close below the low from uh, 11 a.m., that's what you're going to be watching here, 54.3175, we are going to see lower lows out there. We're going to continue to move lower. Uh, um, so resistance is held. And now the question is going to be, will support hold? If we look at the NQ, same kind of setup and signals out there. We've seen a series of lower highs. We had a T9 count bottom pattern that went ahead and completed uh, just as we were uh, coming onto that uh, uh, air at 11 a.m. out here. We can see prices rallied up towards that oscillator and change line. Hasn't tested it, but it's tested it enough, at least with regard to the ES Mini, that says, okay, on the NQ, the level you're going to be watching out here is going to be that low of 18.505. We close below that for this time frame. This tells us that we head lower out there. We did get a TD9 count top on the 10-minute for the uh, Dow Equity Future contract. That identified its top out there. Um, the uh, Russell 2000 just kind of in a world of its own. We do not have any bottom signals for the uh, YM or the Russell just yet. We are in bar number eight as we speak right now on the YM. So you could get a TD9 count bottom there. And uh, we are forming bar number eight in the Russell 2000, but we're not trading near the lows of the uh, of the session so far. So watch the 10 minute. Watch those uh, levels that we took a look at. Another time frame, and it's really the short term time frames that are providing the best intraday message to us. If we look at a 15 minute time frame, you'll see the ES Mini formed a TD9 count top. Now it's 15 minutes. That took place at 9:45. It completed at 10 a.m. If we take a look at the NQ, it completed this TD9 count top at 9:30, and every since then, we have seen a series of lower uh, lower highs out there, with the exception of the bar that we're in right now. So I would say, to me, it looks like it is the ES Mini that is the one that is driving the bus out there with regard to its intraday time periods. If we go take a look at maybe a larger setup, so let's go do that. Let's go back to our uh, day trading uh, set of charts out here that give us additional time frames. Where are they? There we go. Uh, so now here we've got the ES Mini. So on the ES Mini, uh, we talked about price now is likely going to go target that breakout level, 53.19. Of course, we're going to want to watch that advanced client oscillator as it approaches that minus 150 level. But right now, that is the price target for the ES Mini. The five-hour time frame chart is confirming that. It does not have any kind of a bottom signal. It already negated a Rose Mintum indicator signal. Now, one of the things to look at here on the ES Mini for the five-hour time frame chart is that oscillator and change line. Again, it's red. It can act as resistance. So far, it has acted as resistance. And that's an important tell with regard to if we do see any kind of a rally, when would that rally be sustained? I would argue argue right now, I wouldn't argue, I would just simply say based upon the chart pattern out there, price would need to close above that five hour oscillator and change line at 5503. You have a very similar pattern on the four hour time frame chart. That makes sense. 5491 is its number out there. Uh, no bottom pattern just yet. It does have a Rhodes momentum indicator signal that's been triggered. That requires a bullish reversal candle to confirm. The two hour time frame chart is in bar number eight. This two hour bar is going to complete, I believe at 12 noon. It does. And then you could get you could get a bottom between 12 and 4 this afternoon out there. Watch those intraday charts. The 10 and the 15 minute, they're really providing us with the best signals. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. 
While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer, the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. A couple of requests that have come in. One to take a look at the IWM, the other the diamonds. Uh, so we've got the IWM chart up on our screen. You'll see on a daily time frame out here, SNP, you got that nice TD9 count top that formed on August the 26th. Right now, price is trading back inside its daily profile. Price is trading below its breakout level of 209.91. As long as it remains below 209.47, the top of that daily profile, price is likely to go target uh, what could be potential support. That's at 206.28. This is a uh, bearish structure daily profile. Price has been trading above it for quite some time. If this is only a counter trend move to the downside S&P, uh, price would find support at 206.28. Now, I'm not suggesting that you just rely on the IWM chart to, to understand what's going on. And we will take a look at the RTY, the equity future contract, to see what, ki see what kind of signals we can find there. On a weekly time frame, I see a wave number seven top. I see price getting back inside its profile. So a close today below 209.90 is suggesting S&P a move to 200.53. On the monthly time frame chart, support for the Russell is at 206.48. That's likely to get 206.28 and 206.48. That's the area I'd be watching for as potential support. What I'd really be doing, though, is I'd really be taking a look at what the equity future contracts are doing, uh, in this case here for its multiple time frames. If we look at a 10-minute chart as an example, we just went through kind of a little bit of an analysis of what uh, time frames are providing us with the best signals. We said the 10 and the 15-minute. If we look at the 10-minute chart for the Russell 2000, bar number 9 is going to go ahead and, or should form at uh, 1130. It will form as long as price closes below... 2106. So 2106. So if we get a close below that, that says that you could get a bottom in between now and 1140 this morning. We do not have any bottom signal on the 15. Nothing on the 30. 
Nothing on the 60. The 60 needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a bottom. The 60 needs a higher low to confirm a wave 7 bottom. Nothing on the 120-minute chart. A TD9 count pattern is going to go ahead and complete on the 4-hour time frame chart at 2 p.m. this afternoon. I would watch these charts here uh, with regard to try and understand how what the IWM is uh, intentions are. Again, here, I would say watch that 10-minute time frame chart. Look at what the low is, in case we don't get back to it. Whatever the low is of this pattern, it priced closer below that on a 10-minute time frame sometime after 1140. Well, then that's telling you for that time frame, you have a strong momentum move to the downside out there. So that's what I see when we take a look at the IWM and the Russell 2000. The daily time frame is suggesting a price target of 208070. And 208070 is the uh, TD9 count breakout level. So when you compare that versus if we go to the IWM chart again, we'll see two different things. The IWM showed that price was trading below its breakout level of support so really my suggestion is really watch the uh, uh watch the uh, uh uh the russell 2000 equity future contract for your best signals out there s and i hope that helped you out and as always thanks so much for the request uh let's do the same thing out here let's put in the dow diamond so it's going to take a moment for this to populate the dow diamonds that is uh this is for rahul and Rahul is uh, looking for a price target of about 400 bucks out there. Rahul, on the Dow Diamonds daily ETF chart out here, we can see that price is now trading below the bottom of its bullish structured daily profile. That number is 406.87. If we close the day below that level, that's going to suggest that price could move down to 392.42. Your price target is 400. I'm in agreement with that. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, you're going to go ahead and get a confirmed Rhodes Mintum indicator top. The next level of support for it is down at 390.69. Raul, that confirms your 400 uh, target level. And on the monthly time frame chart, we have a completed TD9 count top. And that is also confirming your 400. Now, I'm using your 400 as more of a guideline versus specific because the top of the box uh, of, uh, on the uh, monthly time frame for the Dow Diamonds is 398. So Stevie says the charts are in agreement with you. And uh, what we need to do here, though, is go take a look at how the Dow Equity Future contract is trading. Now, for that, we're going to go to this set of charts out here uh, so as I can get there. Here we go. So a different uh, uh, set of time frames. Let's look at the larger picture. Larger picture on a monthly basis needs a bearish reversal candle to confirm a Rhodes Mintum indicator top out there. A C wave number seven is present as well. Uh, that's going to go ahead and confirm a top uh, this week because we do not have a higher high. The key area here with regard to the Dow Equity Future contract is that oscillator and change line. And that's what we're printing right now, 4431. We're at 4475. So if you see it close below 4431, even though it's a monthly chart, at least price will be below a very key level of support. Doesn't mean it can't, it can't get back above it uh, during the month out there, but right now you'd be looking for a move or a close below that. Um, not just on a monthly basis, on a daily basis, to give it a signal. That signal, if you look at the weekly time frame, is going to go ahead and form two rows of indicator tops right at the top of the consolidation pattern. Can't bust them to the upside. You know Tom's expression, price will try to bust them to the downside. Turns out, in the case of the uh, weekly chart for the Dow Equity Future contract, it's really not down at the bottom of the consolidation, which is the breakout level, 37.858. The first area that price has got to get through on a weekly basis is the buy zone. And that buy zone is between 38,998 and 39,592. The daily time frame shows that price is now trading below the bottom of its daily profile. Two consecutive closes below that will provide us with a profile change in trend. That profile change in trend then would suggest to move to 39,334 in the Dow Equity Future contract. 30 minute chart, no bottom signal, negating a TD9 count bottom. No bottom signal on the 60, no bottom signal on the 120, no bottom signal on the 240, no bottom signal on the five hour chart out there. This could be, when it comes to the Dow, when it comes to the Dow, this could be one ugly session out here. No intraday bottom signals. But it's possible that the Dow will take its cue, its P's and Q's, 
from the ES and from the NQ out there. But those are the uh, Dow equity future contracts. Uh, Rahul, um, I think you get uh, you, you get 400 over time, probably even more than that. Now, what uh, I don't have any other requests. Oh, I see one other request, SQQQ. So what we'll do is um, I'm going to do that when we come back from this break, ELO, and I'll do the same kind of thing. I'll get the NQ chart set up for us to take a look at because that's really what you're going to use versus a triple ETF to identify where prices are. Uh, headed to. Let's remember this. This is the S&P 500. We can see the same thing with regard to the Dow. We are in a very, very unfavorable seasonal cycle. We're in a very unfavorable seasonal cycle with topping signals on the daily, weekly, and monthly time frame charts. It doesn't get better than this. The better than this is, the market should head lower. We likely have found a, a short-term top out there, and that's what we'll call it right now. The uh, signals suggest that we should see a bottom, a, at least a decent bottom, form at the end of the month, a little bit of a counter-trend rally, and then another move to the downside, perhaps into October, the end of October of this year, and then we rally with that Santa Claus rally. That is one potential pattern out there. Um, you know, there's, there's, I'm sure there's more, but that's one that we should be watching at. And at some point in time during the show, we'll take a look at consecutive moves lower uh, and higher for the daily and weekly time frames for the equity future contract. So we come back to this break for ELO. We're going to go take a look and dissect and bisect the cues out there. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Building wealth trading in the stock market seems impossible to most people. They think it's too volatile and risky. Most people aren't going to take the time to educate themselves on how to do it right. But you're not most people, are you? At TFNN, you'll get the guidance you need to refine your strategies and techniques to invest like a pro. Because you'll be a pro. All TFNN subscriptions, books, software, and courses are available at TFNN.com. And I'm even going to tell you how to get them for less. Use TFNN's Tiger Dollars and you'll get up to a 20% bonus on your purchase. And once you apply them to your account, Tiger Dollars are automatically used for all future or recurring charges. Tiger Dollars also never expire, are fully transferable, and are a great way to add savings to your newsletters or services. Become the investor you were born to be at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. The consistency you're looking for is closer than you think. One or two adjustments are usually all you need to change your equity curve from red to green and keep it there. Come join Larry Pesavento Live to learn what separates the winners from the losers. Join Larry Pesavento on the second and fourth Friday of every month for three hours of live trading from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Eastern Time, where Larry will show you the market setting up and most important of all, the state of mind of a winning trader. By watching Larry trade, you'll learn the Fibonacci levels, you'll learn how to apply A to B to C to D trading patterns, you'll learn trade management, pattern recognition, and much more. Join Larry August 9th and 23rd for more live trading action. For this month only, use code LARRYOG24 at checkout to save $50 off your first month as a subscriber to Live Trading Price for his live trading sessions, where you'll sit right beside him as he trades the market live. For this month only, enter code LARRYOG24 and save $50 off your first month. For all the information and to reserve your spot today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's Daily Leveraged and Inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, 
you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Welcome back, folks. Still a sea of red out there. We're taking a look at the uh, charts here for the NQ on the monthly time frame. Again, we can see a, a TD9 count top that just simply completes this month. So that's already in place. We're below the oscillator and change line at 19.008. That suggests a move to 16.443. The weekly chart has a TD9 count top. We've already seen price test and reject its breakout level once. That's at 18.211.50. Uh, we have a new profile that wraps around the prior profile. This suggests to expect or anticipate that we're in a consolidation type mode out there. Nonetheless, price should go target the 18.211 to 18.077 area. But the first area that's going to be a key level of support, potential key level of support for the NQ is going to be 18.383. We're at 18.533. Could easily get there today. If we close below that, we get back to test the August lows. No top, no bottoming pattern on the 30 minute chart, nor on the 60 minute, nor on well, the 120 minute. Is in bar number eight right now. Again, this bar is going to go ahead and complete at noon. That says you could get a bottoming signal anywhere between noon and the end of the trading session. Right now, I'll go with the end of the trading session. We take a look at the 240-minute time frame chart, no bottom signal. We're negating a bottom pattern in the five-hour time frame chart. This bar here is going to go ahead and complete at uh, 2 p.m. as well. And if we do get a close below that prior bar out there, uh, shoot, that's uh, the peers. I just want to give you the price point. If we do get a close below, 18703 that's telling us we're already below that right now but if we close below that at 2 p.m that tells us lower price is very likely so the only bottom signal that we have out here is on the two hour time frame chart um so watch those intraday charts out there i mean that's such a long longer term time frame from a day trading standpoint but uh, just know that that is the potential bottom signal there. And 18,383 would be the other area to be watching because that's your daily TD9 count breakout level. Now, that's what the NQ charts are telling us. Let's go take a look at what the uh, chart for the SQQQ is suggesting. If you give me a moment, we'll get back there here momentarily. This is not the set of charts. We can go look at the set of charts, but this is not the set of charts we had intended to go see. So we'll pull up the Dow Diamonds here in a moment. Dow Diamonds should be on this chart right here. And oh, this, I'm sorry, this is SQQQ. Uh, Stevie had a little brain fart there. So we take a look at the SQQQ. This tells us on a daily time frame, you've got no topping signal. So price should go target is CD Nank out break a level, 1067. Uh, I would be watching the daily breakout level on the uh, NQ versus um, uh, the breakdown level on the SQQQ. But nonetheless, that's your price target. On a weekly time frame, 981 is a resistance point. That's the top of its weekly profile. And a monthly chart for something, an instrument like this, is completely useless. So we lose a lot of data when we go take a look at those triple ETFs. What would be better, if you're not going to access the uh, equity future contract, would at least be able to get your signals off of the QQQ, and that, which is what I'm putting up here on my screen right now. It's going to take a, a moment or two to populate. But this way, then you'll have useful information on the monthly time frame, a really more useful information than daily, weekly, or monthly out there. And again, from a pattern standpoint, I believe it is the equity future contract that you really want to be looking at. Here in the queues, we can see that they're like the uh, NQ is targeting the breakout level. The Q's breakout level is at 445.61. The weekly time frame chart suggests that price will go because we're trading below a bearish structured weekly profile. Price should go target the 439.46 level. And on a monthly time frame, you can see that right now we are sitting basically at an area of support. So does this level hold? What is this level, Stevie? It's 449.34. So if we close below 449.34, that's going to suggest to move to the 427.94 area. Now, 427.94, if we just take a look at this chart out here, ELO, that's where a counter trend rally would end. Why? Because this is a bearish structured monthly profile. Price was above it for more than two consecutive sessions. We can even see, if you look at the last month's price behavior, price got pulled all the way back to that level. 
and uh, uh, 42794 that is found support. So that was telling us just a counter trend move. So with regard to the Qs, the big number to be watching here to tell us whether this is more than a counter trend move to the downside, and maybe something more substantial like a two month move to the downside. We did talk about, you know, September looks awful. The real bottoming pattern likely doesn't come towards the end of October. So that's what we could really be looking at here. We take a look at the entire set of equity markets that are out there. So that's what I see. ELO, I hope that helps you out. Let's go to our next request out here. Next request comes in from Mike in New Hampshire. And Mike wants to take, he's trying to get a long position in QuantumScape. QS is a ticker symbol. His specific question was, is today bar number eight? Kudos to you for understanding the pattern of the TD9 counts, and it absolutely is bar number eight. Now, we happen to be trading below the bottom of its daily profile as well. The bottom of that daily profile was 551. The TD9 count pattern, it formed a TD9 count high. Um, it negated a TD9 count bottom that formed on August the 1st out there. So like any pattern, they don't always work. Uh, but when they do show up, the hair on the back of your neck, if you have any, I got mine cut off yesterday, a little haircut, as you can tell. Um, and uh, if you couldn't tell, well, uh, I did get that. Uh, in any event, I, it, it can be the low could form on bars number uh, nine or the bar following bar number nine out there. So I'd say the ideal place to enter, if you were going to take an entry in QuantumScape, would be down towards that 484 level. Preferably, you'd see a TD9 count pattern form just above that area. Now, that may simply lead, Mike, to a rally towards resistance. And resistance here, this is a bearish structure, bullish structure daily profile. We've been now, we're now going to be below for two consecutive sessions. If it's only a counter trend move to the upside, once a rally does form, should a rally form, if price peters out at 569, that is where a counter trend rally would end. If we look at the weekly time frame chart, the weekly time frame chart shows that support is at 516. So you got 484, 516. And on the monthly time frame chart for QuantumScape, let's pull this back just a tad more. The bottom of its profile, I believe we're trading just below it. 588 is the number. Yeah, we're trading below that as we speak right now. So you, you are correct, and uh, kudos to you on picking out that bar number eight for the TD9 count. Let's see how the next couple of days. Of course, you know the routine out there. If you are going to get a bottom, you would see some kind of bottoming signals first on those intraday charts. If we look at a 30-minute time frame chart, no bottom signal. Just a Rhodes momentum indicator pattern that's present that needs a bullish reversal candle in order to confirm that bottom. On a 65-minute time frame, QuantumScape shows what? No bottom pattern out there. So there's no bottom coming on day bar number eight today. So let's come back to this on Monday and Tuesday of next week, Mike. Feel free to write to me each day and happy to take a look at it for you. So thanks for taking the time to write in. Much appreciated. Let's go on to our next request. The next request is to take a look at, this is from GTE. Uh, GTE wants to take a look at uh, EWH. Do I have that up? I do. Um, I forget which. Uh, well, I can I can figure that out. E W H. This is the uh, Hong Kong ETF out here. So I take a look at the Hong Kong ETF, and really we should be looking at the Hang Seng out there. Uh, what do we have? I've got price uh, that is trading below its green oscillator and change line. The next level of support is at 1584. Below 1584, 1571. Below that, 1558. And below that, 1548. Price traded uh, last week into the sell zone of its weekly profile. And uh, you've got a, a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom on the monthly time frame out there. Watch the daily and the weekly. Watch 1638 to the upside. If you close above that, you will see a much further rally. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the 
world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento. A pro's pro with over 50 years of experience, Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets, with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold. Traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Still that sea of red inside the markets, all the sectors inside the S&P. All the indices that you and I track are trading to the downside. We're taking a look at high-grade copper. Uh, this is for GTE as well. If we take a look at the monthly time frame chart, you can see a Rogement to indicator top with price right now consolidating with inside its monthly profile. Key level support out here for copper is going to be at $4.01, 4.0196 to be exact. If we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, it has an A to B equals C dependent on downside. It has not completed. It did form a new profile a couple weeks ago. A key level of support there is 4.0327. If we close below 3.9645 on a weekly time frame, price will go target that breakout level of 3.750. 3.7570, that is, or at least the A to B equals CD price projection to the downside. On a weekly time frame, I don't have a top, but price got back inside the profile. Now we're below the profile. It was a bullish structured profile. Yesterday, uh, price ran into resistance at the center where a counter trend rally would find resistance. At this stage here, I'd have to say you can, couldn't get through that level for two consecutive sessions. Now it's going to go try uh, 4012 area. 4.012 is a daily TD nine count breakout area. If we look at the interday charts out here, 30 minutes got no bottoming signal, suggests lower price should continue. Same with the 60, same with the 240, same with the 120. On a five hour time frame, price is right now pulling back into an area of support, potential support. It's called the buy zone. It's a buy zone established by that bullish structured five hour time frame profile 4.0703 to 4.0846. If price closes below 4.0, 703. It'll go test its TD9 count bottom, and that's down at the low of 4.0425. So that's what I see when I take a look at high grade copper. If you put it all into perspective, uh, you got to the daily suggestion now it wants lower price. So that means watch 4.0327 for a better clue out there. Uh, we've got the request out here from EL Logan. Thank you very much for that. Let's get to a different panel. Let me actually close down these high-grade copper charts. And momentarily, we're going to take a look at SMCI. So it's going to give me a second here for this to close. You know, as long as we're here, let's do this, and then I can close this out. We won't go defaulting to this here, but we will get uh, that in for you, ELO, no problem. Let's take a look at what's going on with regard in the metals market. If we take a look at gold, 
Again, on a weekly basis, you've got a TD9 count pattern that completes this week. Price is trading above the green oscillator and change line right now. Its signal is neutral. If you look at the daily time frame, TD9 count top with price consolidating with inside its daily profile. Uh, rallied right up into resistance, the top of that profile, 25.60.30. We just have a good old-fashioned sideways consolidation, really going between 25.09.70 and 25.60. The daily time frame for silver shows that we are trading back below the bottom of its daily profile. That could be suggested to move back to 27.94. The GDX on a daily time frame, this is going to go ahead and confirm a TD9 count bottom today. That does not mean that this is the bottom. Uh, it could be come with regard to that pattern. It could be Monday's low that could set that up. You also have a new profile that's forming. So you want to watch this during the day. This bullish in structure, the bottom of which is at 37.02, the center at 37.31. If we close, whoops, didn't mean to do that. I have to do this. If we close below, 37.02 today. Um, it's not a great scene, but you also have a bottoming pattern out there. Uh, so the GDX, we'll watch the GDX. We'll certainly come back to this on uh, Monday out there, but it does show a bottoming signal. The hesitation that that is the bottom is the fact that uh, gold is a direct directional core, a direct directional correlation to the GDX out there. We've got no kind of a bottoming signal in gold. In fact, what we have is resistance holding a weekly, a uh, daily. Uh, topping a pattern out there, uh, not on the monthly. The monthly says that price could pull back to 23.89. So that's what's going on inside the metals complex. Now let's get back to take a look at uh, SMCI in a, a moment. I just want to close this one down. Here we go. And then we ought to see the daily equity future contracts. I think that's what shows up next. And then we'll get to that tab. Jeez. All right. Let's put an SMCI for ELO. See what this is doing, SMCI. SMCI is trading uh, at about uh, $30.18. It's down 7% uh, this morning. Uh, it is trading out at uh, 385.01 as we speak. Those The charts here will pop that I'm looking at a different screen that I've got that has that, instruments, that, that instrument up. Looking for anything, three drives to bottom. Maybe that's a different conversation. Uh, Peter, I'm not sure. But uh, if we take a look at SMCI, trading lower, um, the gay, it did not have a bottoming pattern out there. So the SMCI has a Rosemontum indicator signal. It needs a bullish reversal candle to confirm a potential bottom. On a weekly basis, we are in bar number eight. That says you could get a bottom between this week and the next two. Um, until we get a bottom signal on the daily time frame, uh, you know, that's when we might get that bottom on the weekly time frame as well. So short of that, the price target to the downside is 305.75. We're trading at 384 right now. On a monthly time frame, it says, Stevie, revise your 305.75 level and may first make it 326.83. And then say, if price closed below 326.83, the bottom of the monthly profile, then we should see it move to 305.75 out there. So time did permit. Is there any other information that you need, uh, ELO, on uh, SMCI? So right now it is saying lower price is likely coming. Um, so we've gone through all the requests. I don't have anything that I recall inside the Tiger's Den. Nothing uh, inside of, uh, nothing by email. So let's uh, do, what else do we want to do out here? Let's do this. Let's come down here, the S&P 500. So when we take a look at the S&P 500, we have a sell the D point top. That sell the D point top is still in place. That actually formed on July 17th. So that pattern is in place out here. Price rallied up to those highs, was never able to get above them. Now we're trading lower. There is no topping pattern on that current move. But uh, that sell the D point top that's still in place out there means it's still in place. Here I would take a look at the cash indice. 5,384 cents is the price target. That is the daily TD Nankow breakout level for the cash indice. If you take a look at the weekly time frame chart, it had a Rosemont indicator top. You're confirming another one with a big wide ranging three river evening star pattern. Price likely to target 5142 out there. On a monthly basis, if you take a look at it, you're gonna go ahead and complete a TD nine count um, a top this a month out there. Price should target 53.42. Now, let's take a look at the other TD9 count tops or Rosemont indicator tops out here. The last one that came in before the one that we're dealing with right now at a high was in January of 2022. That led to a move lower into October of 2022. Do you hear what I just said? 
right? If we take a look at the, this went from January of 2022, bottom in October of 2022. So we take a look at the current pattern that's in place. That's why a just simply a two bar knee jerk reaction low is really in play out here. Meaning that we also bottom sometime in October of 2024 out there. I think that is a likely par, uh, pattern. If we look at the uh, 20 uh, COVID high out here, that formed a roads momentum indicator top, and it did that in January of 2020. That led to what? That led to a, a two to th two bar a uh, two bar. Yeah, that led to a two bar move lower out there. We're talking about a two bar move here, taking us into October. So it is the monthly chart. It, 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 uh, I am not calling for some type of crash. I'm calling for a move lower out there. We're in the unfavorable seasonal time period. Take a look at the, the next TD9 count top, May in 2011. That led to a, a move lower into when? October of 2011. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. That should have been very helpful. Hope that it was. The Gold Report. As a precious metal gold is still king, it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. Let's go to that chart there for Harmony. Uh, that is for Sandy. That came in during the uh, breakout here. So let's get to that. And uh, Sandy is looking for an entry point. So you got a nice TD9 count top that's out there. We have price here that has... Has it tested? So the high, I'm going to see if it tested and rejected a swing point. 
867 is the high. Did it get down yesterday to 867? It got down to 867 exactly. Volume yesterday is 5.6 million shares going into a swing point that had 7.4. So Harmony has given you a test and rejection of a swing low. That would suggest that this would rally, rally up towards the Sasseter and change line, the bottom of its daily profile. That's at 976. So although you'd have a TD9 count or Rhodes momentum indicator bottom, we do have a test and rejection of a swing point out there. Maybe that TD9 count uh, that we looked at on the GDX has got more promise. If it doesn't, then your buy point would be around 834, potentially. 830 is the uh, green oscillator and change line on the monthly time frame. That's your real key level of support. And 834 is the bottom of the weekly profile. So uh, would I buy now? I think we got to see how gold deals with resistance if it gets back above it if there's how the td9 count and again that pattern may complete on the monday out there so uh, let's come back to that sandy if you can write back to me to remind me that would be a wonderful thing to close out the show what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the uh, we're going to look at the uh, semiconductor index out here we're going to look at the semis although duncan steve is wanting to take a look at the triple etf let's get your information from this set of charts out there the daily time frame for the socks is going to target it's uh, td nine count breakout level at 4472 so that's an area to watch the 195 minute time frame does not have a bottom signal but 4472 is its breakout level we have a td nine count bottom on the 130 minute time frame chart the next 130 minute bar is going to go ahead and complete steve-o at uh, 1350 150 this evening this afternoon i should say if price is below 452701 lower price is likely but again you got to watch how 4472 reacts to any signals other than that i do not have any other kind of bottoming signal so watch that low on that 130 minute chart again watch that at uh, the first time you'd watch it would be a 150 this afternoon Folks, thanks so much for joining me on Fantastic Friday. I wish you a wonderful weekend out there. Have a great one. Be safe, and I look forward to seeing you on Monday. Take care.